So you're exploring your long-term care coverage options and you've heard of hybrid life. What does that mean? Hi, I'm Jared with Carlin Financial Group. For the best retirement information to help make sure you don't run out of money, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to be notified when we release new videos. Hybrid life insurance is uh, something that's becoming a little more common these days. In the past, if you needed long-term care coverage, you would always just look for a traditional long-term care policy. But these days, as we've discussed in some of our previous videos, uh, long-term care itself is expensive, but long-term care insurance can be also quite expensive to pay for. So what other options are out there for us? Well, hybrid life is a life insurance policy that includes some sort of living benefit, meaning you can have some sort of access to the death benefit while you're still living. In this case, we're discussing long-term care benefits meaning that should you end up in need of long-term care after a waiting period uh, specified in your policy, you'll be able to access some portion of that death benefit every year, typically, for a number of years to help you pay for those long-term care costs. That can either come as part of the, the life insurance policy all on its own, or it can be achieved through a rider that you attach to the policy that provides you with those additional benefits. Now, who does this particular uh, method work for? Typically, if you're someone that, A, is interested in life insurance, you want to maybe potentially leave on some money to your heirs, uh, that's obviously a good starting place. If you're also someone that's concerned about long-term care coverage, if you're relatively healthy, it is life insurance, and so typically you will have to undergo some underwriting to make sure that you uh, are insurable. And for people who may already have a current cash value life insurance policy that doesn't include these benefits, uh, you may be allowed to do a 1035 exchange, which is basically uh, taking the money, the cash value out of that current life insurance policy and transferring it tax-free into a new life insurance policy that could include uh, some of these benefits to help cover your long-term care cost. If you're someone that's interested in a money-back guarantee, you want to make sure that your money is actually going somewhere that you want other than just to the insurance company. This could be a solution for you. In traditional long-term care coverage, if you pay into it, but you don't end up using it for long-term care, then that money goes away. It's pure insurance. By utilizing a life insurance policy, you know that you will always see some return uh, for your premium paid, whether that be through a benefit to yourself while you're living or if the money is passed on to your heirs tax-free. This could also be a great option for someone that uh, doesn't necessarily have a lump sum to commit to, to covering long-term care expenses, but would rather pay over time with the guarantee that the premium that they're paying is going to remain level. By utilizing life insurance of this nature, you could receive that guarantee where your premium is going to stay the same as long as you are paying it, uh, whether that be for the entirety of your life or if you choose to pay uh, over a limited term, say maybe five or, or 10 years. So how exactly does this approach work? Well, you would fund your life insurance policy. Once you've paid that premium, then your death benefit has been established, meaning if something happens to you in the next day, your heirs will receive that benefit tax-free. If, however, you do need long-term care, if your doctors determine that uh, you can no longer fulfill at least typically two of the six activities of daily living, or you are suffering from a severe cognitive impairment, then you would qualify after a waiting period spelled out in your contract to start receiving those accelerated death benefits that are spelled out again in your initial contract. That'll tell you exactly what portion of the benefit you're entitled to every year and how many years that will normally last. And should you pass away before using up the entirety of the policy, the remaining of money still will pass on to your beneficiaries. If you have other questions about long-term care coverage and how best to facilitate it for yourself, make sure you check out some of our other videos on the subject and leave us a comment down below. Now let's take a look at all of the uh, benefits of going this route to provide long-term care coverage. To review, firstly, you get a money back guarantee. Regardless of what happens, in some fashion, your money will either go to your heirs or be used to help provide for your long-term care. Also, 
Unlike traditional long-term care insurance, this coverage maintains a level premium, meaning in traditional long-term care, we've seen premiums increase over the years to help uh, account for the growing cost of long-term care. But in this instance, your life insurance premiums are guaranteed to stay level for as long as you hold the policy. So you're able to budget and you know exactly what your coverage will cost you. Another benefit is that most of these policies will pay you cash, sometimes allowing you more freedom to choose the method of your care. If you'd like to stay home and have a family member or a friend care for you, that could be an option, though most policies will require you to receive care from a skilled worker in order to be reimbursed. On the flip side of the coin, some of the downsides of this approach could be that in whole, it could be a little more expensive than a traditional long-term care policy, but again, you know you're going to get something from it, whereas in a traditional long-term care policy, if you live a long, healthy life and don't need care, that money is just spent. The other thing to be cautious about is that some of these base policies don't really offer inflation protection on their own, though it can commonly be added as an additional rider. So you should plan accordingly and keep an eye on that, because as time goes by, as we all know, things do tend to get more expensive. So you want to make sure that if you're purchasing a policy, say, you know, in your, in your younger years, you want to make sure that by the time you need it, that it's still going to cover the cost associated with long-term care. I want to thank you for sharing a little of your time with me today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you share it with a friend and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we release new videos. And remember, live today, plan for tomorrow.